The number of swipes has been increasing slightly for the past month. At Grand Central, Mia and her mom are taking the six home to Cypress Avenue. I just sit on the train until we get there and I ask my mom how many stops. <laughs> and I bet it's a lot of stops. I know. I commute on the Metro North when the COVID first started. It was like me and two other people in the whole car and the regular trains too, but now it's picking up. Ridership is still down about 70%, which impacts the MTA's budget. Next Wednesday at the board meeting, commissioners are set to discuss finances, fares, and possible service cuts. Transit advocates are still worried. The MTA will have to uh, take extreme measures and, and cut service um, and really you know, make drastic cuts that New Yorkers have never seen before. Plans are still up in the air for a second round of federal funding, which would include money for the MTA in transit. Former VP Joe Biden, who's used Amtrak for decades, has a wish list for transit and infrastructure under the umbrella of climate change, provide cities with high quality public transit, which would include light rail, subways, buses, and bikes, options for pedestrians and drivers. The fact that he uses public transit um, and he understands it um, gives us a lot of confidence, but we do understand that um, the president himself or the president elect cannot figure it out by himself. Transit advocates say the MTA has both a short and long term problem. The longer that we wait to provide this relief, um, the more riders will end up paying for it in the future um, because, of course, the MTA is borrowing money from the Federal Reserve right now. That's a discussion we'll hear next Wednesday. Borrow more, what to cut, those plans still being put together. Uh, Joe Biden has put together a list of transportation experts. It includes uh, the NYC Department of Transportation Commissioner, Polly Trottenberg. Along the 7 train, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.